Hey team, welcome back to the garage today. Today I got another oil analysis for you. Uh, this time it's gonna be on my wife's 2023 Honda Pilot. Um, and the oil that we're analyzing is the factory fill Honda oil. Yeah, that's correct. What came in this car from the factory is what I sent out to be analyzed. Now, um, before I sent this oil out, we ran the oil life monitor down to 5% which equated to 9,665 miles. So we had almost 10,000 miles on this factory fill. Um, and that's pretty much my standard MO. I'll run the factory fill to the manufacturer specification for oil changes. So if they recommend an early change and dump, we'll, we'll change it early. If not, uh, like this car took us all the way up to almost 10,000 miles at 5% on the oil life monitor. Uh, before I changed it, which is pretty standard on what I do for all my Hondas is run it to 5%. So let's dig into this analysis and see what we have. Okay, let's dig into the comments from Blackstone. This is the first oil change for your pilot's engine and that explains why metals and silicon are high. Most of the metal is from new parts wearing in and silicon is from sealers and gaskets used during assembly. After a few oil changes, your results should look more like the universal averages, and those averages show typical wear after about 6,800 miles of use. We've heard Honda oil is special, though what makes it different, we don't know. We don't test for everything. It does use more molly, an anti-wear additive, than most oils do. The, T the TBN is strong at 3.4. Try for 12,000 miles next time. Next, we're gonna look at the elements that were found in the oil. Analyzing the elements can tell us what's going on in the engine and whether there should be some concerns or not. So our first elements up are aluminum, and that came in at 10 parts per million. Chromium came in at one. Iron came in at 32. Copper came in at 61. Lead at zero. Tin at one, nickel at zero, silver at zero, and titanium at zero. So being the first time that this oil was drained and dumped, uh, we did expect some elevated minerals to be found in there, and we did. We did find element elevated uh, traces of aluminum and iron and copper, which is to be expected uh, on a brand new engine and over time I expect to see those numbers come down uh, hopefully significantly that the initial wearing on this engine is over and uh, everything is seated nicely. Uh, next are contaminants. Potassium is a 4. Silicon 95. Again that's elevated due to the seals and gaskets on this new engine. Sodium is at a 10. Our final classification is additive, so our Bali is in at a 606, and that's, uh, that's elevated compared to a universal average for this engine of 108. Um, and that's the suspect that Honda uses something special in their, their oil to help with break-in. Uh, it could be in the oil itself, or it could be leftover lubricant uh, from assembly lube. Manganese is at 61. Boron at 161, calcium at 1,838, magnesium at 9, phosphorus at 654, zinc at 718, and barium at 3. Finally, let's review the properties of this Honda factory fill oil. SUS viscosity is 40 8.9 CST viscosity 6.93 both of those are within range flashpoint 415 percent fuel less than 0 0.05 percent antifreeze zero water zero insolubles is 0.3 and our TBN is is 3.4 so we still had a healthy tbn which means we had a lot of additive life left uh, which is why blackstone was extending or recommending to extend 
the uh, the run to 12,000 miles next time. But overall, I'm very happy with what I see there in the properties and how this oil held up. So there you have it. The analysis came back and we were good to go. In fact, we could have gone another 2,000 miles, I'd say even 3,000 miles before we really had to worry about the oil life. But, uh, you know, 10,000 miles, it's, it's probably where I'd want to drain it on a factory fill anyway. Um, now, Honda, as you may or may not know, only recommends changing the oil filter every other time. So, in fact, when I did this oil change, the oil life monitor said not to change the oil filter. But I did anyway. I wanted to get everything out of there um, and, and start fresh. So, right now, I got some Quaker State full synthetic in there. We're going to run that down to 5%. And uh, what we'll do is I have a virgin oil analysis done of that oil. And when it's time to change it, I will send out an analysis of the used oil. So that should mean we should have about 20,000 miles on this pilot. And I'll go over both those analyses with you at our next visit. See you soon. Thanks for stopping in.